Hello everyone. All right, so I'm back at Adam Cat's garage building a sanctuary. Wait, wait, that's that's wrong. I'm back at sanctuary and I'm building an Adam Cat's garage. Well, garage. And I'm using the master plan Red Rocket Reborn mod that gives us these really cool Red Rocket prefabs that you can't really see because of how big and close they are. Like I had to walk around and find a spot open enough for it to turn green where I could build it and then pick it back up and use place anywhere to get it where I wanted. Yeah, a lot of steps just to get this pain in the ass in there. But here is how it went down. So I scrapped the house foundation first then placed down this red rocket prefab, and then I got this brick foundation that we get from Workshop Rearranged, and lined it up slightly underneath the prefab, and then snapped all the other foundations to it. The foundations are very forgiving, so you don't have to build them first and then try to line up the red rocket prefab. It's just much easier this way. Alright, so we got the gist of the first part, let's get into the build. Now, I already built half of the fence, but you guys get to see me build the other half. So I'm using the chain link fence that we get from Workshop Rearranged and the Unlock Settlement Objects. They're pretty easy to place down if you're going in a straight line because they snap together. But if you want more control over the placement, you can do what I'm doing here, which is lining up the opposite end so it doesn't snap. I love using these fences because they have different angles which you can use when going uphill or downhill so they don't sink into the ground. And you see I'm doing this again. I'm lining up two of the same sides so I have more freedom when placing the fence down. And after I have it lined up, that's when I bring in a single post to attach the fences together and make it look more realistic. I'm pretty much use that process to build the entire fence. It's just going back and forth between the two sides. There are some places where I want it to go in a straight line. So you know that's when snapping the fences together comes in. Okay, so the reason I wanted to build an Adam Katz garage right here is because in this build, I want elements from the entire game to be peppered in. Like say Far Harbor, I'm gonna build something by the water using Far Harbor pieces and items that are on theme with that area. Same goes for Nuka World and vault Tech. basically any theme within the game I want to bring into my entire sanctuary build and do it in a way that is believable. So Adam Katz was a great way for me to bring them in and Red Rocket because Red Rocket is a common land Landmark within the game. And I know some people are gonna ask, huh, how do they build a red rocket at Sanctuary, bro? It doesn't make any sense. And I don't know, that's the one thing I'm overlooking because I couldn't come up with anything. And I just wanted to build a red rocket, so use your imagination. And uh, and if you come up with a good explanation, let me know, I'll totally use it. All right, so here's the completed fence. I cut out me building the rest of it because it was the same technique and I wanted to save some time on the video. But this is the same kind of fence they use at the actual Adam Katz garage in the game. I went there a lot to get inspiration and I mirrored a good bit of what Bethesda did, but mine turned out a lot better. Oh no, he didn't. So on to the structures. I built a couple around here, but I'm only gonna go through this one because the other ones are easy. You can tell what I did just by looking at them. This one, on the other hand, I had to mess around with a good bit. So I got these vehicles from Workshop Rearranged. PS4 users, you can get the same ones through Unlock Settlement Objects. And I set them up like this because I wanted to build a living area around them where the vehicles were part of the structure that they used. And you'll see what I'm talking about later on. So I already placed down a smaller floor piece on top of the back of the truck and now I'm snapping out as many floor pieces as I can without clipping through the brick walls and too much through the vehicles. They're going to clip through them a little bit but that's okay. It is a bit of a struggle getting these floor pieces in around the truck and van. I fight with them a good bit, specifically one piece, and I left it in here so you guys can see that it does take some work. I get a lot of comments from people talking about how certain things won't snap, and it's true, some things obviously won't snap, but I always put up a fight, especially if I've seen it snap one time and I can't seem to get it back in that perfect position or angle. And this is a perfect example. Keep in mind, this video is sped up double the normal speed. So yeah, at this point, I'm losing my mind. And this is one reason why I haven't done a live stream yet, because editing helps me look like a pro. Like, I can build this stuff no problem, you know, it's easy. When in reality, it's me fighting and bitching and just a slew of obscenities. Alright, I gave up on that one piece because I didn't see it go in, didn't see it snap, not even one time, so more than likely it wasn't going to. But not to worry, I have a workaround. With Workshop Rearranged, can someone tell me how many times I reference Workshop Rearranged? I'm just curious at this point. 
But with Workshop Rearranged, we get a bunch of floorboards, and I know that either USO or a mod called More Workshop Items gives you the same thing. So PS4 users, check in one of those mods. But I, I use the floorboards to cover up any gaps, and they look stable even though we're covering up a huge gap and there's nothing underneath them. But, you know, let's just pretend like we don't know that. Imagination. Okay, so I'm just gonna breeze through this last little bit here. I'm using metal walls, and as you can see, they're pretty forgiving and will snap right through the truck. I left one of the roofs up here from when I originally built this, but I didn't really need to because as long as the walls snap to the floor, you can snap a roof to the wall and it will come out the same way. Now I'm going to use half walls around the vehicles because I don't want to completely cover them up. I want them to be part of the structure, so I use half walls around the van here and then a wood post in the corner to make it look stable. Then I use a crossbeam to line the metal wall at the bottom, again just to make it look more put together. Now I could leave it like that, I think it looks good, but to match the scrappiness of the floorboards on the inside, I'm going to use wallboards on the outside. So go ahead and guess where I got these from. Workshop rearranged! Ah, how did you know? And again, USO should have them too. They work pretty well, you do have to play with them a little bit to get them just right, but they aren't too bad. Alright, moving to the front, I'm going to place down a door and then snap some posts and crossbeams around it to create a door frame. I'll demonstrate this in more detail in my boat settlement video, which I'll have a link to in the description if you want to check it out. So to finish up the front, we're just going to snap in another post to the corner, again to make it look more stable, and then another metal half wall, and then lastly some stairs leading up into the doorway. Alright, so I went ahead and finished this up because the last part was fairly easy. So I placed this wall board here the same way that I did the others. I just moved it around until I got it where I wanted and then used place anywhere. And for the back entrance, I used this small doorway that we get from the mod thematic and practical. If you don't have that mod, you can create a door frame like I did in the front with the post and cross beams since a normal sized doorway won't fit here. I don't know if you guys remember these door caps that I used here to cover up the hole in the wall. I got these from, oh, workshop rearranged, there it is again. But I, I used to use them a lot. We have these door frames which you can snap the door caps to to create doorways. So I just used one of those caps to cover up the gap in the wall. And to the right of the doorway, all I did was snap a wood half wall to it, nothing major there. And finally, I got that awning from the mod Snappy House Kit and I just placed it above the doorway. So again, nothing too crazy. Now I know that I went through that pretty quickly, but I hope I explained it well enough for you guys to know exactly how I did everything. I used to have some people tell me that my videos were too fast, and I haven't really had people tell me that in a while, especially since with this new format that I do for my build videos. But for the rare few that think I go too fast, I go at the speed for a few reasons. The main one is that I try to keep my video length down. I used to make videos that were like 30 to 40 minutes long with a lot of lulls and silences and parts that you didn't really need to see anyway. So I I started cutting those parts out or just speeding up the video. And another reason is I go pretty slow in the tour, which allows you to see everything that I built. So during the build, I explain how I'm building this, and then in the tour you can see, okay, he used that wall there, that floor here, that kind of thing. And the last reason is it gives you guys a chance to put your own twist on these builds if you're recreating them. But all right, that's it for the build. Thanks for sticking around, and I hope you enjoy the tour. Thank you. 
Alright, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think, and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you. Give this video a like and hit that subscribe button for more content like this. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks again, and I'll talk to you soon.